I've had a couple comments on uh, the videos in the forum about how my plane looks like it's tail heavy. Center of gravity is too far back. And you're right, I do keep my center of gravity back, especially for the plane that uh, I'm going to be doing low level tricks, loops and rolls and things like that, and for high alpha. But on a canard plane, you can keep the center of gravity back. I've got it almost two inches back right now. And I can maintain level flight with the canards. I can trim the plane with the canards so that at medium to high speeds, the plane is flying level because the canards keeping the nose down. As soon as the nose, uh, as soon as the wind airspeed drops, then the nose starts to come up by itself. And that kind of puts it into a high alpha mode. And then all I do is I use the canard angle and the elevons and then steer with the rudders to maintain the high angle of attack that the plane is automatically setting itself into. And then once I want to get out of that, uh, I can flip the switch off and turn off the canards and then just get some airspeed and the nose comes down automatically. So that's a, this plane is very flexible because of that. I can get some high speed flying out of it and I can also do some high angle flying all with one setup. Uh... Yeah, a little breezy. I love what the canards do for the flips. It's like an air brake. It keeps the nose planted while you're uh, rotating around the nose. The elevons have uh, enough authority with the thrust vectoring especially that it can compensate for the down angle on the canard. This is kind of cheating with the wind, but uh, the KF2 does seem to be pretty stable in this configuration. Let's bring it over this way a little bit. I'm pretty happy with the 6mm KF2 airfoil. Um, it does add uh, quite a bit of stability. The 3mm is just fine, but I may get a little bit more stability out of the 6mm. And once again, once the uh, wind goes away, I can really push it to the limit to see. But today I was very happy with the performance.